Here you have a bait station that has been in the ground approximately one year. It is in close proximity to this oak tree, this live oak tree, which has an active Formosan termite infestation. Uh, you'll see in the tree in a minute where there's active Formosan termites tunneling in the tree, but we have no activity at all in the ground bait station. Uh, you can see some fire ants foraging in the termite tunnel that I broke last week. Uh, these may not be fire ants. I'm going to have to put them under the scope to see exactly what they are, but they appear to be fire ants. And you can see the termite tunnel foraging up the tree. That's the same tunnel that I broke about a week ago. Now I'm going to see if I can find some live termites. I think this illustrates pretty pretty definitively the fact that when the shelter tubes are broken the ants seem to be able to find the termites a lot a lot quicker. Unfortunately I didn't take photographs or movies of this tree a week ago when I first broke these tunnels. That's all I see in the tunnels today are ants. I'm going to continue looking on the other side of the tree as soon as the golfers pass by. Here is a tree stump which is about 20 feet from the oak tree that had the infestation in it. Still not able to find any active termites in the tree. As you can see there's a ladder against the tree. I'm checking the crotch of the tree active termites still finding ants in the termite tunnels. Here are the active termites, Formosan termites in the tree stump. You can see that they are Formosan termites. Uh, still quite active. Soldiers making themselves seen defending the colony. Very obvious, this is a carton nest. Here are the active termites. This stump is probably two years old. The tree was cut down after Katrina, but they never did grind the stump out. It's possible that the colony that is in this stump is the same colony that is in this live oak tree. I'm not seeing any inactivity in this tree stump at all. But the activity continues in the uh, live oak. This is the perspective of the termite bait station in the ground with the tree stump we just looked at. That is the tree stump with the active Formosan termites. And again, the perspective of the oak tree. Every time I touch 
this tree stump and move it a little bit, the uh, soldiers emerge very aggressively, investigating who is uh, approaching their colony. It's a fairly, fairly good sized colony based on a number of uh, soldiers that I'm seeing. This is one of the bait stations that we've put out to try to control these, these ants, these termites. And we haven't been successful attracting the termites to the bait station. So there's no active bait in a station because we've never We've never pulled the termites from the tree, the live oak tree, nor the tree stump to the station to see if we could get some acceptance. Normally you would expect to see this station packed with carton material if they were active for most of the termites in the bait station. The observation is we have a, a low area which is associated with this pond that floods probably driving the ants up into the tree. It flooded on this pond uh, as recently as five days ago. Uh, probably don't see ant activity in a tree stump because of the flooding situation. It's too wet down there for, uh, for fire ants. But the fire ants are taking advantage of getting up out of the water and getting into this live oak tree. Still doesn't explain why we aren't getting any hits on the uh, termite bait stations, which are a lot higher and drier than, than the tree or the stump at the ground level. This isn't a scientific experiment, it's only an observation and should be looked at and appreciated as an observation. However, it is interesting that these termites are very selective on where they feed and how they forage. 